Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you an Iceland volcanic update. Friday, June 24th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. Take a look. Yang Yokel Glacier. Uh, and let's just blow this out so you can see where it's actually coming from right here. This is the glacier in question. And there was a large earthquake magnitude 4.7, 4.9, depending on who you ask, on the glacier. Now, there has been a strong uptick at this particular volcano, and it's the Preshna Yukar. But it's actually also the Lang Yukal. So there's two volcanoes here. One is in this region, and one is in the northern region. There's two regions underneath of this glacier, and very little information is av available to the public on both of them. But one of the most quiet volcanoes in Iceland, which is Preshnayuka, seems to be about to change. And for the last several years, there has been an uptick at this volcano, but very few people know about it because it hasn't been reported on by almost anyone. Now, the earthquake with magnitude 4.6, according to Iceland's Met, and an aftershock of 3.7 took place in the volcano on June 23rd. It was felt over a large part of the south and west and north Iceland because of its central location. Now, the, uh, the volcano in question is hard to find because it has different names. And here we are at the Oldenjörnungur Landinjökull which is all of that volcanic complex. Now, this particular complex system involves the Hevelavir central volcano at the northern end of this active volcano zone that extends northeast from the Reykjanes Peninsula. And it also occupies the northeast half of the massive Langenjökull ice cap, east of the Pleistocene Eftenjökull table mountain. I mean, just simply the, the names alone are... Well, mind-boggling. And this volcanic complex is quite complex. The, the Kali Haldren Shield Volcano east of Vangjökull produced about 11 cubic kilometers of lava around 7,800 years ago. Several small shield volcanoes in the region have been constructed along the flank fissure zones, producing post-glacial lava flows on the north, west, and east sides of the Langjökull. One of the most prominent of these is a small shield volcano at the site of the massive Halamundraun lava flow, which covers 240 square kilometers and was erupted about 950 CE. And this would be the most recent eruption from this region. So 950, 950 years ago would be the eruption in question. Now, if we look at Iceland as a whole, you can see that massive uptick just about 24 hours ago and the seismic swarm happening in this region. And if we bring it down just to the Langjökull, just the glacier alone where the seismicity was occurring here, you can see that it is quite consistent but has quieted down. So we have a number of quakes, maybe numbering 50 from this region. And what else can we glean about it? Well... The earthquake swarms are common in this area and happen regularly, but not often. Regularly meaning maybe annually in recent times. The largest earthquake that did happen today was felt nearby, according to Icelandic news. And this means that this is, could be uh, waken, wakening up. Now, back in August of 2020, there was an unexpected glacier flood from the south of Lankenjokel Glacier. On 17 August 2020, a glacier flood took place from the south of this glacier. The glacier flood seemed to have been unexpected, and it seems rather large. It killed fish and rivers that it flooded, and this might be connected with the volcano called Preshtenjökull, and that's what we're talking about now. But it remains unclear. This was back in 2020. And then, on June 24th, 2022, it's boom time. One of the most quiet volcanoes seems to be coming active again. There was other activity at the volcano. Yeah, in fact, prior to the glacial flood, all the way back in 2011, which is the same time we're sitting during the last solar cycle, there was another earthquake swarm. A little south of this region and a little bit to the west, actually at the volcano. So it seems as if this volcano has been waking up for two solar cycles. And now just one hail cycle later, 
Here we are. Seismic swarm. In a region that no one expected any seismicity on Iceland ever, but we're reporting on it because we report on the facts. Now, here is Preshnanjökull. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. In Langjökull, this is all part of the Langjökull glacier here, similar here to this glacier with Bardabunga and Grimsvotn. That's the Vatnajökull. So the Vatnajökull glacier is here, and the Langjökull glacier is here. And there are two uh, volcanoes potentially erupting there, but the Preshnayuka is the one that we are most concerned about now because of the seismic swarm happening there and the ongoing events that have happened over the last decade, starting with the 2011 seismic swarm, followed by the unexpected glacier flood back in August of 2020. These are all signs of an awakening volcano with magma being in place. Well, and a boom about to happen. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance, especially if you live in these regions in Iceland. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and be safe. We love you. And that's a boom to volcanic Icelandic knowledge, which almost no one has, by the way.